So in this short video, I just want to show you the routing menu in the performer, which is something that I've been pretty obsessed with ever since I got the performer, because it's essentially an internal patch bay that allows you to use any of the CV outs of each track to modulate something on another track. So to get to the routing menu or the internal patch bay, uh, you just press page and the routing button, T3 button, and you get to this page, which um, gives you the routing menu. So first you have to set the target, right? So what parameter you want to modulate with another track. And um, in this video, I just want to go through basically the list of things you can target in this patch bay. So first, you can um, control the, the main sequencer transport, play, play and stop basically. You can control the recording status. You can turn record on and off um, using a track, which is super cool. So uh, this week I set up a curved track that lasts for four steps at a clock division of four beats per step, so one bar per step. And on the first step, I had it set to um, curve, just a flat curve with maximum value. So basically it turns on record for one bar and then steps two, three, and four are at zero volts. So using that four-step curve track, I was able to record an incoming CV for one bar and then have it play back for three bars before it re-records incoming CV. So that works really well. Um, it's super cool. So you can record, uh, you can target the recording status of the sequencer. You can control tap tempo. You can control the actual tempo value. You can control the swing, mute value. So once you get into mute, you see that the fourth parameter, the tracks, are different. So these are um, for the sequencer itself. So they're not track specific. But once you get to mute and all the subsequent targets, you can then assign what track you want to target this control for. So very quickly, for example, if you want to have a track to control the mute for multiple tracks that say I want to be able to automate the mute status of tracks one, two, three, four, and five, then you just click those on and then and then whatever track, whatever source, right? So you can set, I want whatever CV is coming out of track six to now control the mute status of tracks one to five. So mute is something that you can control, which is super cool. Uh, fill, uh, the performer has a really interesting um, per step fill condition which I'm, again, I'm still trying to learn. Um, but you can turn the fill on and off, and then you can then also control the percentage of fill amount. You can uh, control switching patterns, using one track to switch patterns on another track. Uh, slide time, octave, transposition, voltage offset, rotate, that means um, that's basically a sequence step offset. So you're, you know, shifting from step one to eight to, you know, start from step three to 10, things like that. So you can set minimum and maximum number of steps to rotate. Um, gate probability bias, these are probability offsets. Gate probability, re-trigger probability, Gate length, prob gate length bias, uh, note probability bias, and shape probability bias. I think that only applies to curve tracks. Um, again, first step, last step, you can use one track to control 
the window of um, a sequence by automating the first and last step. Run mode, forward, backward, random, ping pong, so you can, again, use a track to switch between those things. Uh, clock divisor, this is something that I used right off the bat when I was playing with this module, is to use a, a sequence to modulate the, the speed of a sequence of another track. So that's super cool. So, and again, you can set the minimum, the fastest sort of clock division. So you can have a sequence that I want it to uh, undulate between 30 second notes and, you know, quarter notes or, let's see, quarter notes. And then you've got also values in between. Uh, which I like, which I like to set as well. So, clock divisor is a big thing that I use in the in the performer to be able to control the clock speed of each track independently. Uh, scale, so semitone. Also, the performer has up to four user scales that you can set uh, in quite a lot of with with a lot of precision. So that's really cool as well. Um, root note, and that's it. So that's these are all the targets that you can control internally on the performer. That alone, to me, is is you know opens up so many possibilities. And the fact that you can um, control multiple tracks, you can control one track or you can control multiple tracks, and. So once you've set a target, you can press next to do a second routing. And I believe you can have up to 16, uh, I guess, internal patches or routings, if that makes sense. Um, and so that's it. So that's the, the routing matrix in the performer, the internal patch bay. So I hope that's hopeful, helpful uh, and hopeful. Hope you, whoever uh, is watching this with a performer module, to really explore this um, feature in the performer. And the next video, I am going to demonstrate using this. Um, I think I'm going to demonstrate the patch that I mentioned earlier about CV recording for one bar and have it play back for three bars and then re recording, kind of recapturing incoming CV, because that's, that's a pretty fun. That's a pretty fun patch. So thanks for watching.